Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about One UI 2.0 for Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. We are finally at this point. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus unlocked version direct from Samsung, and I just got the notification to update my phone to One UI 2 with Android 10. So as you can see, there's a long list of updates. It says, here's what's new, and then you have the dark mode enhancements, icons and color enhancements. Uh, you can pause the video as I scroll and read everything here. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to do a deep dive and demonstrate all the new features that's on the screen here and also things that you're not aware of. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just tap on install now and that's going to start the installation process. And once the phone reboots, we're going to go into the details. Let me fast forward right away. All right, the phone has finally been updated. So let's go over here. It says software update. Tap on that one. Uh, your phone has been updated. And just to verify, we're going to go to the settings. Go all the way down. Tap on about phone and tap on software information. And then we have uh, One UI 2.0 and Android 10. And finally, this is the official version, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's dive in and discover all the new features. All right, so obviously we have some new and cool animations. So when I launch uh, applications, they're going to launch real nice and cool. As you can see, it just launches nice and slow. And when I click home, it goes right back very nice and smooth. Uh, what we also have is with the folders, when I tap on the folders, again, it opens up real nice. And when I want to edit my folders, I can tap on this button here and I see a real time preview of what the folder is going to look like as far as the color is concerned. So if I change the color to this one, tap over here, it goes back to that color. So that's fantastic. Now when I pinch the screen, uh, these icons over here are brand new. So they're different than the One UI uh, 1.5 icons. And when I do tap on the wallpaper, it takes me to a wallpaper screen that shows me what I have on my lock screen and on my home screen. And then I can go to my wallpapers to continue choosing uh, which one I want to choose. And if I tap on explore more wallpapers, that takes me to the actual store. Uh, which is great as well. And when I tap on my wallpaper services, if I tap on this one, I have the show guide page, uh, which is this page right here. This is the guide page, okay? So if I uh, disable this, it's not going to show that guide page. And also with the wallpaper services, I can do dynamic lock screen. So if I tap on this one, and if I click on this one, I can tap on select a category, and I have access to dynamic lock screens that, for example, if I pick the landscapes, Every time I go to my lock screen, it's going to show me a brand new high definition uh, landscape wallpaper. So that's the dynamic lock screen option that's under wallpaper services. All right, let's move on. Now, one more thing I want to let you know, when you enable the dark mode from over here, if you tap on dark mode, now we have an enhanced dark mode that actually darkens the wallpaper, the widgets, and the alarms in the background. So everything just looks even uh, darker and easy on the eyes, which is the whole point. So dark mode has been, in fact, enhanced. And if you notice, it's not called the night mode anymore. It is now called uh, the dark mode. If you go to display, boom, it's going to be right here. Okay, so that's been enhanced as well. Another pretty cool thing we have is if I go to the settings and if I go to display and if I go over to the edge screen right over here and if I go to edge lighting, which is the notification effects you get around the edges of your display, if you go to the lightning style, lighting style, you do have access to all these beautiful new effects uh, such as the firework effects, the heart effect, the eclipse effect right over here. Okay, then you got the wave. I think this was already here, but this is new. This is new, and if I scroll over, I have the spotlight effect. So every time I get a text message or any notification, I can pick any one of these effects and uh, change the color, obviously, as I desire. So that's great that we have some new effects to customize our phone even further. So that's for the edge lighting on their edge screen. Now, obviously, one of the biggest things with Android 10 is the navigation. So if I go to the settings over here, and if I go to display, and if I go over to navigation bar at the bottom here, I can go to full screen gestures. Now, full screen gestures have two branches. I can tap on more options. This is something we already had. This is the brand new option. So with this swipe from bottom and sides, here's how, how I access my home screen. Just like that, swipe up. And then I want to go back. I just swipe up again. It comes right up. Animations are nice and smooth. You've got these bouncing effects on the sides, as you can see, bouncing 
and bouncing okay so that's great as well now let's go back inside there's something here that you want to be aware of so if you have the gesture hints enabled there's a little line at the bottom here okay now when this line is enabled if you have this line enabled you can switch between apps just like this okay you can swipe over and you can switch over but if you don't have this thing enabled you cannot swipe over to the other application just so you know all right but again the brand new thing we do have is a swipe from sides and bottom if i want to go back i simply swipe like this it takes me one screen back and then i got this option as long as i have the gesture hints enabled i do actually really enjoy this option easy to switch back and uh, forth so let's go back see what else is new so if i do go back into the main screen uh, we also have a brand new uh, device care screen if i tap on this one i've got a brand new device care screen got the battery new interface new graphics new animations go right back storage same thing right over here is checking my storage let me do a cleanup right now so you can see how it works so tap on clean and as you can see we have a brand new uh, styling over here just looks more nice and modernized i'll take that no problem inside device care as you go in each one of these categories you can tap on this button here uh, to get even more options so for example advanced options are right here if i do go to the battery again uh, i don't have it right over here i have all the options right here now one more thing we do have a bulb icon on the top i can tap on it it's going to give me recommendations on what to do uh, to even make your phone more optimized so that's the new device care that we have now one enhancement actually came in the calculator application so when i launched the calculator application you can go to the unit converter right over here what allows you to convert units all the way at the end on the top they actually added a uh, speed and time unit conversion so you can now convert time and speed as you please if it's something that you're into i like i like to have a unit converter on my phone that's built uh built in so now i have speed and time on top of all these other existing functions another cool thing is if you go to the camera the camera interface has been changed so what they do is they give you all the basics video photo uh, live focus and live focus video right here you can swipe between them but you only get four options if you want to access the rest of the options you have to go to more and that's going to give you the professional the night mode the hyperlapse instagram mode everything is right here but you can always tap on this button here to edit them so you can have whatever you want in the main screen over here but it's nice to have just four modes here that are always available and then you can go to more if you're going to go into depth another thing is if you're in the photo mode and if you're trying to zoom in and zoom out what you'll get is you'll get quick buttons to zoom in 10 times two times one time or 0 0.5 times which is all which is the ultra wide mode right here so instead of going like this and trying to make sense of it you can just boom do a quick shot right over here okay so that's the new camera application with some new features and of course we've got the new focus mode now if i go to the settings if i go to the digital well-being right over here uh, we do have additional enhancements we have the well-being and the parental controls now if i tap on this one right here at the bottom we've got ways to disconnect the focus mode now let me enable this and see show you how it works so tap on work time click on start and then click start now what's going to happen is the focus mode is enabled and if i go back home all the applications i don't want to use while i'm in focus mode are grayed out so if i tap on it it's going to tell me i cannot access that uh, icon uh, mostly this is going to be great for games and social media so if i'm trying to go and play a game uh, the focus mode tells me it's been blocked you're in focus mode uh, come back when the focus mode ends because when you are in focus mode you want to do uh, useful things and not waste time so it's also available over here so if i go over here uh, you are going to see the focus mode is enabled as work time i can tap it to disable it i can always tap it again to enable it on the go but for now i'm going to just tap on cancel it's also customizable uh, something you can play with uh, if you have some time you can create your own unique focus modes with apps that only you want to be able to access to so that's the new focus mode under here in this setting not too bad now if i go to my my files application my files application right here tap on it uh, what happens here is i now have a brand new option if i tap on this one here i can go to my trash i can turn this on and basically if i delete anything it goes into my trash which is recoverable 
So if you accidentally delete a file, let me just delete this file by accident, tap on delete, boom, it's gone, right? Now let's say I want to recover that file. In the past, you couldn't recover it. Now I can go back to trash. You can tap on edit and simply restore that file. Doesn't have to be a photo file, could be any kind of file that you want. So that's great as well. Let's move on and see what else we got going on. Now, another new feature actually is in the gallery application. This is brand new. So you want to go to gallery, okay? Then you want to tap on this button here and you want to go to the settings. And over here, you have the option to do cloud sync. Now, when I tap on this, this has now been modified. Now you can connect to Microsoft OneDrive to do all your syncing of your gallery, your videos with the Microsoft OneDrive. So that's fantastic. If you want, you can use Samsung Cloud instead, which is a default option. But if you want to use the uh, Microsoft version, you can do get started with OneDrive. Tap on it, it's going to walk you through and you can start to back up your photos from your gallery to Microsoft OneDrive instead of Samsung Cloud. So that's just a brand new option and I love new options. There's a couple other unique features in here hidden in the menu. If I go to the setting and if I go all the way down and if I go to about phone and if I go into software information, tap on bill number seven times. Let me just dump in my password. It's going to enable the developer mode. Now in this developer options, we have something known as enhanced super dark mode. So if I go to that one, let's uh, go up a little bit. It's going to say dark, dark. Let's see. There we go. Force dark mode. Now, if I tap on this one, here's the funny part. I have dark mode on my regular applications. As you can see, if I go to my phone, let me just enable the dark mode. I have my regular dark mode in the phone and all that good stuff in the calculator. But I didn't have dark mode on other applications that did not support it. Now I do with the force dark mode. I can go to my Amazon shopping application. It's actually going to convert that to a dark mode. If I go to any other shopping application, let's just go to Walmart. You're going to see that it's going to be forced into dark mode. I did test this on uh, Facebook. It does work there as well. So this option is, remember, hidden in developer options under force dark mode. So you enable that if you want dark mode everywhere, okay? Not just... Uh, regular applications but anywhere now i disabled it now i disabled the force dark mode if i go back to amazon it's not going to be dark it's going to be regular even though i have my dark mode enabled so force dark mode adds another layer of darkness to your phone all right all right so that brings us to the end of this video that's most of the new things coming to you with the new one ui 2.0 and android 10 for the samsung galaxy note 10 and the note 10 plus Unfortunately, there was nothing new as far as the S Pen is concerned. So I did go into the advanced features. I looked over at the S Pen settings. Nothing new happening over here. It's all the same as One UI 1.5. But those are all the things new to expect on your phone. If you do any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them below. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.